Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel Sabina from Apple City or welcome if you are new to my channel. Today I'm here with a one and a half year review on my folding wallet from Burberry. To be more exact, it was bought in August 2018 in Barcelona and I started using it right after the purchase. You know how much I love this brand and my heart melts when I see this classic Burberry check pattern. Well, I watched lots of videos on Louis Vuitton, Chanel wallets, but I could hardly find a recent video on this type of Burberry wallets. So I decided to do this review video and share with you, my friends, some information on wear and tear, pros and cons after using this wallet for one and a half years. So it came in this dust bag, which says Burberry in golden lettering. I have also got this small paperwork with information on material this folding wallet is crafted from. The dimensions of this folding wallet are 9.5 cm by 11 and by 3. So from this side it looks like a dump wallet but it's because it has this extensive opening of the coin section. Now take a look at that of the Victorine wallet from Louis Vuitton you see there is a visible difference. So the zipper on this Burberry wallet goes all the way around. So it starts at this corner of the wallet and ends on the other side, making the opening of the coin compartment pretty wide. Now, let me show you this folding wallet closer. As you see, the outer material is 100% polyamide or nylon. The trim is 100% cuff grain leather in red color. It has the snap button closure in the front and it features the equestrian knight at the back. Then you see the hardware is gold metal and there is the engraved paper lettering on both top and bottom of the button. As we open the wallet, the inner material is 100% cuff grain leather, same as the trim, and lining is 100% polyester with Burberry letterings on it. It has the cash and receipt compartment, then three card slots on this side and same on the other. There is also the small compartment in this part of the wallet which can hold a card and on this side of the wallet it says Burberry made in Italy. As I already mentioned the zipper section is rather wide and it has got this leather protection on both sides from falling out of the coins. So this wallet has got some pros and cons so let me start with the pros. It is lightweight and handy. It is a compact wallet, but it can hold a lot. It has this durable calfskin leather and very convenient opening of the coin section. So sad, but I have to admit that this folding wallet has got a few cons. So if I put small size coins in this section, they sometimes fall into this space between the zipper and leather protection. And this polyamide material gets wet once I have some water drops on it. I'm now comparing the carefree canvas and this material. So from what I see, this wallet has got some wear, but it anyway holds up pretty well. There is no wear on the edges. The stitching looks nice as well as hardware. The leather trim has no scratches. The zipper closure is pretty smooth. And I have no glazing issues at all. So the card slots look perfect. They have not folded out, maybe because I never put more than one card into one card slot. The coin section has got some stains from coins, but I think this is normal. 
And so on the overall, as I use this wallet often, sometimes I grab it just barely without the bag. I think it looks pretty good for one and a half year item. This type of wallet is currently not sold in the Burberry online stores, but hopefully when all this coronavirus situation is over, you can still find it in outlets or shop now in other online stores. It is retailed at approximately $300. And that's my one and a half year review on this beautiful Burberry folding wallet. If you love this classic Burberry check pattern, this pop of color, you cannot go wrong with such wallet. I really hope you enjoyed this video. We all stay in quarantine in my city because of the coronavirus. Please stay safe, stay healthy, stay at home as much as you can. I'll talk to you soon and bye!